Hey, uh, it's Eric, and I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on this thing. Uh, this is uh, the frame for my full-scale uh, BB-8 build, and uh, you, as you can see, it's coming along. The, the sphere, the frame itself, is is pretty much all together, and that's the part I want to tell you about. You notice I also have some uh, some panels on it, um, the triangle panels, and I got some orange rings and all this you know, starting to come together. But let me tell you about uh, this thing. Um, and this thing. Okay, there's actually another one of the, an opposite of this one. But anyway, this is uh, a, a design by a fellow by the name of Carrie Christie. Carrie Christie the second, I guess. Um, and uh, it's a really cool design in that it is one modular piece like this, one segment. And um, these segments go together in, uh, in, in kind of four four at a time, uh, get a better look kind of here, um, so you put four of them together, they join together like this, and they, uh, you put a little washer in there, a washer, or aluminum washer, or a uh, American penny, and uh, a little bit of filament in there just to, to kind of act as a, a little alignment. You glue those together, they form a ring, and then uh, you wind up with six rings, so you have to print this part 24 times. Uh, and there's a number of different uh, little prongs on here. These prongs are used to hold it together. You see here, once they go together, you wind up with one, two, three prongs, and then this uh, 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 axle joining plate. There's going to be a little axle joining plate that goes on the inside of that eventually. Uh, and the prongs are what holds it together. There's um, uh, stainless hardware that goes in there. Uh, uh, you can either use a nylon uh, locking wa uh, locking bolt or you can heat press in your uh, hardware in there. That all bolts together and the, the washers are in there. And um, the cool thing is that you can actually take it apart again if you wanted. You don't have to. I don't know if I ever will, um, but you can. And uh, it's it's really strong. You know, really, it's really strong. You'll notice across the uh, circle sections, these prongs here, um, there's also this, this uh, system of ribs, and there's two types of ribs. There's an under and an over. This one's an under here. And uh, you'll see they go together just like that in the, uh, with the segment. And this, uh, you use that same hardware in there, the quarter 20, or excuse me, uh, 440 uh, bolts, uh, inch and a quarters. We use three uh, metric M3 hardware. That goes together. And um, then that forms these cross sections, which support our panels. Here's one over here. Uh, I don't have the center in there yet. I'm still in the process over there. Things are printing. Uh, some of them are done. Um, they just lock in. This is actually not even glued or anything. It's held in by these uh, the panels here. The panels themselves, um, Carrie also designed these uh, based on the club, the originally on the club design, but then uh, remade them to uh, basically have these inset screw holes in here, and I just have some M4s in here to kind of just show you what, what that's about. Because the other thing in here is there is a, uh, a little insert that's used, and that can either be aluminum or stainless steel as well, and then there's a low profile M4 bolts, normally these guys over here, these M4 bolts, they go in there, and they hold things together, so you can take them on, off again, and so on. Um, these panels, I haven't done a lot of sanding yet, uh, everything is still kind of rather rough. I'm still kind of fitting it together. I've been having a little, you know, some 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 calibration things going on with my printer and, and whatnot. Um, and the cool thing, another cool thing, is that uh, as a testament to the design, despite my calibration issues from time to time, the by having all these different segments that kind of come together, any error that you have in there is sort of diffused across the whole model. So uh, despite little diffusion glitches here, excuse me, yeah, errors here and there, there um, it, it, it wound up being like right smack on. It's like five or, 505 to 506 uh, millimeters in diameter, which is you know pretty spot on what the, the, the club uh, sphere is supposed to be. So it's a, it's a cool design. The other nice thing about these, uh, the ribs, you'll see, if you look closely, maybe, maybe one of these would be better on one of the, the, this color. Um, there's a little inset, and it's supposed to be a, you can put a little washer in there and a magnet on top and kind of glue those in place. And this way you could, if you wanted to glue your, or excuse me, to, to put uh, magnets in your uh, panels and, and have them mount that way, if you don't want to kind of lock them in place this way, you have that option. 
um, and also because there's uh, because it's modular. I, I don't know if, if uh, most people will do this or not. Most people probably just put it in place. You you have one that just rolls around. Uh, but I was thinking for animated panels, you could if you needed to, like say you needed the access to this whole half of this panel or or something, you could leave out this section, just use the one rib across, uh, and then you probably maybe need a solid rib that didn't have a little cutout. But you could even like you know this is a pretty simple part. You could maybe even design your own kind of custom one to to do. Uh, some cool animatronic or animated panel kind of stuff. So, um, if you see in here, let me, let me grab the camera and I'll bring you inside. Um, you can kind of see inside the sphere. Um, and if you look down here, that is the uh, axle mounting point. Okay, you'd actually put that on. There's, you get you all kinds of options because there's one at every. You know, it's it's kind of extra. Um, but uh, you. Uh, Back, kind of get you see again. Um, it's designed so that you 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 have your uh, axle straight across the side, so it would roll uh, off the uh, panels just like the stage version of the of uh, BB-8 does. Um, so that's kind of the default way. You could do something, you know, again, if you wanted to do something with your own ribs or something, and have you know other different mounting points or something weird, but. Uh, for the most part, it's you know designed to be stage accurate um, and roll with an axle that way. Or you could always uh, uh, do something different, like you know with different mounting ribs or rings or something like that. If you wanted to do more brute and drive or something like that, it's possible. But it's really by default designed for an axle. It's very strong. I've actually sat on this thing, um, and uh, you know it's still here. Uh, I did a lot uh, during the beta testing. You know, actually snapping parts and you know trying to figure out. Um, where the weaknesses were, and and, uh, and Carrie's really uh, uh, have to hand it to him for for coming up with a great design and being you know disciplined enough. He's gone through a lot, printed a lot of versions himself. I uh, really put his uh, filament where his mouth is, so to speak, um, in uh, in printing them out and making sure that that things work before kind of releasing it to the rest of us. Uh, to you know, we're trying it with a whole bunch of different types of printers, you know, maker farms, maker bots, um, uh, flash forge. Excuse me, not flash forges. Um, um, Anyway, you know, there's been a bunch of people, is, I think over a dozen of us who have like had different printers and, and experimenting with different orientations about printing them flat on the bed or printing them standing up or uh, also, you know, the, the, with the different triangles and so on. So things are coming along. Uh, it's, it's exciting. I, you know, I think it could be used with just about any um, axle system. It should be with some minor modifications of like how the things are mounted. Um, there's going to be some examples, I guess, of, you know, different mounting approaches. I'm hoping to do like a real custom drive myself. I'm gonna do some stuff with some uh, slip rings and possibly a split uh, split flywheel. And I have this kind of robotic wrist uh, thing that's gonna do, I think, the head movement. Um, what's the uh, yet to be seen? Um, because we haven't, nobody's done an actual drive system in it yet uh, with the mast on it. And we'll have to figure out. You know, I, I did have some magnets. I have the one inch uh, one by one. Uh, uh, cylindrical magnets, and they seem to be pretty, you know, pretty good holding on here. So uh, uh, we're gonna see how that goes. I'll have to get some, do some more testing on that. I uh, either three or four is probably what I'm gonna use on on mine. Uh, overall, it winds up being about 11. Um, the the frame itself winds up being like 11 millimeters thick. Uh, the panels are about another seven, so it's you know a little bit under 18 millimeters, 17 to 18 millimeters. Um, so somewhere in the five eighths to three quarters of an inch. Thick, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a you know, I give it a thumbs up. I, I'm, I hopefully uh, want to experiment with some other drive, uh, other spheres in the future. Um, probably do another version of this, uh, something a little bit, you know, even nicer. This was kind of you know the the, the rough version. Um, the triangles I did out of uh, PETG, so they have a little bit more give to them. They're they're not as likely to, to crack. Not going to be an issue. Uh, everything else, the the rigid frame. Uh, the uh, panels, other than the triangles, they're all PLA. Um, I use some pretty cheap stuff, which is which is why I'm you know kind of you know some calibration issues or some other probably just I, I use really cheap filament. So that's it. Okay, it's been about ten minutes. I hope you hopefully uh, you found this worthwhile. And I'll, let me bring you in the sphere again. Let's check that out. See you inside. Woo.